So we've been playing around with Web Plus X8, and so far so good. I really like it. Um, the way this works, we're just going to play with the templates. When X8 first opens, you get the starter helper, and I just scroll down, and I'm going to choose Glitch as one of the templates. Now, when you're working in Web Plus X8, you can select or deselect any page you want that you're going to use in your website. You can even change the colors up here. I'm going to show you about Color Scheme Designer in a bit, but this is one of the ways you can change the color right on the fly. Once you're happy, you just select OK and it will open your pages up. So right now I'm just looking at the home page. On the right hand side is where all, you, all of your pages live. So if I double click on a page, I'm able to see those pages. Also the master pages are located on the top. This is where, if you want to have a logo on appearing on all of your pages in the website, this is where you'd put it. So I'm just going to get rid of this text. I don't really like it, so I'm just going to delete it. And I'm going to insert my logo. I just click Insert Picture from File and choose my logo. And I can have it as large or I can make it a little smaller. I can even move my navigation bar from here. If I want to type new text in, I just click here and type in the text that I want in my headers and this is known as a footer. So very simple to do. And then once I'm happy with that, I can go to my different pages and start working on them. Now one of the things that's glaring to me right now is the color scheme doesn't work for me. In X7 and previous versions it had the color scheme button up here and it was missing. It drove me nuts. I looked for quite a while to see where the color scheme designer is. You can find it under swatches and it's this little pencil here for color scheme designer. If I click on that I can either go in here and customize the colors or I can simply choose one of the color schemes over here that they've already pre-populated. So I'm just going to choose ribbon because I think those colors are pretty close to what I have and I click OK and voila! If this gray is a little too strong for me I can simply go into color scheme designer and I can make it lighter by clicking on more colors and I'm going to tint it to 40% and see if that makes me a little happier. Yeah, that's nice. So there's a lot of capabilities. You can even go in here and make it lighter. You could even make it white if you wanted to. You could make it black. You can change any of these colors as you see fit. And if you don't like something, you just simply hit undo and it will take you back to the previous version. Another button that I want to show you is the Site Manager. The Site Manager takes care of the general look and feel of the website. So it tells you the master pages, which pa master page is tied to which page, the width and the height of a page. So let's say, for example, I'm looking at this home page and I don't want to have this piece in here. I can simply click and drag that out of my way for now because I may, I may want it back, you never know. And I have this big gap, so I want to make my page a little shorter. I simply go to Site Manager. I go to my home page, which is at the top. And I change my height here and hit close. And voila, there it is. So that's how Site Manager works. Site Structure, if I click on that, what Site Structure does is it shows me 
the way that my website is set up very similar to site manager but I'm able to graphically see it and this is where I like to put all of my page descriptions in my page titles my meta descriptions my keywords and some people say well keywords aren't really relevant anymore and I disagree I think that they're still very important and it's certainly important for you to put in page descriptions and page titles why well let's go out to Google and see I've done a Google search for got clicks and this is the home page title Vermont web design and internet marketing firm got clicks it served me very well because when I have customers primarily my clients are in Vermont but I do them worldwide they want to be able to put in the search what they're looking for they want a web designer or they want internet marketing so I put both of those in my page title because I do them both and this is the meta description so these are very important components to have in fact I'm just gonna copy that page description go back to my serif site structure click on my home page and if you are an X7 fan, you're going to be like, hey, where is, my, where is my page structure button go? Well, you can simply add or remove buttons here. Just click on this down arrow, add or remove buttons, hit customize. And I'm going to go to page properties because that's really where I see my, my information for my page titles and that sort of thing. So I'm going to click on page properties and click and drag it right up into this toolbar menu here and there they are so just click OK and now when I highlight my index I can go to page properties and put in that meta description that I want so this is the name of the navigation button I like to say welcome sometimes and this is where it shows in navigation for the website now the page title is what shows up in the Google search remember so this is my page title again I'm just gonna copy and paste that the file name is it stays the same index that's my home page and now if I want to put in my search terms these are extremely important to put in search terms is your meta description some people will say that it's simply a description for the page that shows up on a Google or a Bing search or whatever search engine you use so again I'm just gonna copy that and paste it in here and use some of my keywords now some people like to use Google Analytics and I think that's a great idea that's a way that you can see who's coming to your website how often they click and where they come from whether they're referred by a, a social media outlet or something along those lines so you just simply hit indexing site search engine settings and you're able to put your Google Analytics by checking this box if you need help with finding this stuff and you want someone to walk you through it make sure that you get in touch with got clicks I can do the got clicks tweak it's a one-on-one -on -one session where we share screens you can be anywhere anytime in the world and I step you through this so that might be something that I can help you with but it's certainly easy to do you paste it from the clipboard and it will show up automatically in all of your website pages so once you put those descriptions on each of your pages close site structure and it will take you back to the website the next piece of this is the sliders these can be extremely frustrating to work with <laughs> if you don't know what you're doing so our next video will take you through how to update these sliders